The following is a statewide monthly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. The following is a statewide monthly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system originating from the EAS local primary station. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado, a toxic material release, nuclear plant incident, or other state or local emergency affecting your safety, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System. This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast and cable stations in your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If there has been an actual emergency, official messages will follow this alert tone. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Este es un test del sistema de alerta de emergencia. Es únicamente un test. From the Georgia Emergency Management and Homeland Security Agency, this is the required monthly test of the emergency alert system. This is WSPC Albemarle. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Albemarle. This has been a test of the emergency alert system.
K236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy This has been a test of the emergency alert system on the Talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS. This was only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. Signal. Variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using... This is the National Weather Service office in Charleston, West Virginia. The preceding signal was a test of the station's public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal and warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receivers...
A message with information about a watch or warning would follow. Tests of these systems are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test may be postponed until the next good weather day. Repeating, this was a test of the specific area message encoding and tone alert systems. On Wednesday, the test is postponed until the next available non severe or non hazard day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the Florida Panhandle, Southeast Alabama, Southwest, and South Central Georgia. This concludes the weekly test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm and the Emergency Alert System for the entire county warning area serviced by the Tallahassee Weather Forecast Office. alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even if you are using a quality receiver in perfect working order. The following is a blizzard warning from the National Weather Service. For the following county, Porter, Indiana. What? Blizzard conditions expected. Total snow accumulations of 6 to 8 inches. Winds gusting as high as 55 miles per hour expected. Wind chill values of 25 to 35 below zero expected. Where? Porter County. When? From 3 p.m. Thursday to 6 a.m. Saturday. Impacts. Falling and blowing snow will result in whiteout conditions with zero visibility at times, making travel extremely difficult, if not impossible. Power outages will also be possible as a result of strong wind gusts to 55 miles per hour. Roads may become ice covered as temperatures rapidly fall late Thursday afternoon into early Thursday evening. Additional details, dangerously cold wind chills as low as 25 to 35 below zero are likely Thursday night through Friday night. Wind chills of this magnitude can cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 20 minutes. Travel should be restricted to emergencies only. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions for Indiana are available by calling 
This is a this is a test of the emergency alert. This is only a only a only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. High pressure ridge will settle in over the Hawaii region over the next few days with two cold fronts passing. Situations. 
specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bosque, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Uraf, Hill, Hood, Johnson, Parker, Somerville, Tarrant, and Wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-55. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 22nd is 1, or low. Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station KEAST C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-56. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 22nd is 1, or low. This is the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K West North 34. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Anderson, Cherokee, Freestone, Henderson, Houston, and Leon, and Navarro. This concludes the test of weather radio station K West North 34. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 22nd is 1, or low. National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK-35. 
during potentially dangerous weather situations. Specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosque, Horiel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35.